All right, now I've got something here that's one of these big fluorescent fixtures. Now, you can buy these fluorescent fixtures for eight or ten dollars, and they're not very expensive. Come with the bulbs, and I mean, hell, the bulbs are probably five bucks for a pair of bulbs. Come with ballast and everything else in it. And this is a four foot fixture. Now, what I've done with it is I've removed all the fluorescent things in it, and instead I have installed the light strips. And the light strips that are in, as you can tell, the rest of the hardware is still all here for the fluorescent, but the light strips, I'm using that wire chase that clips on, and I've stretched it out a little so when it's snapped in, it's permanent. And these are the little 32 SMD bulbs, fairly bright, actually, for what they are. This whole wattage pull is about nine and a half watts. It's less than an amp. It's roughly about three quarters of an amp. And you compare that to a regular 1157 bulb that don't produce a third as much of this light, and it pulls about 28 watts, which is two amps. Now, this wire that's in here right now will be getting hooked up to what is called an all-night light, which is just a strip of this that's gonna run on this side, and it'll just be a row of about six of these little LEDs, and it's just going to go right here. And because I live off grid, pulling a basically a microwatt's not gonna hurt on the batteries all night to just have this lit up. When I want it lit up more, I have a pull chain I'm putting in right here that's going to fire it up and run it. Now, right now, I have it just hooked up to a little uh, cigarette lighter plug so I can show you how this works. Now, all together, you can go down, believe it or not, to your metal recycling places, and they will have these light fixtures as many as you want. And what you do is you bring down metal in the back of your truck or car, you bring metal down with you, and when you dump that metal off, you grab a bunch of these that are sitting out there, usually in the tin pile, throw them in your truck, and when you drive out, they weigh the difference and pay you. They don't care if you go back out with 10 pounds of these, which would be about three of these. Um, so, I pick these up at the scrapyard. And this light, let me get over here. I'll go over here and plug it in. All right, and this light now, it's quite a bit brighter than most lights that you'll see uh, in this category, if there is one. There, now that's quite bright. You see what it did to the camera. Now, as far as how bright it is, let's look at that. Or let's look down here at the floor. You see, pretty damn bright. Now, I am building myself about 10 of these, and I've actually collected more. So I'm building myself about 10 of these, so that like in here where my jacuzzi is out here in the shop, that I will be able to put them up on the roof. And there's already the wire that's ran for it. And up here in the roof, it will be nice and bright. So we won't have to use anything off the inverter. When you, have, when you use power off your inverter, you do a lot of conversion. You take DC, convert it to AC. There's losses, wire loss, conversion loss. And then you feed it through your wiring, a little bit of loss there and then it's there. However, this seven, this seven watt bulb actually requires the use of about 17 watts of your battery bank. And this, however, nine watt light, which is actually a little brighter than that for this room, this uses nine watts plus a little lost because I am about uh, 16 feet through 12 gauge wire back to the batteries. So a little bit of loss, so it's about 11 watts, not even an amp still. I need to get to about 13 watts before I burn an amp out of my batteries. So that's an idea that you can use to use those type of light, light fixtures and rehab them. I have uh, numerous different ones, so I'll give you a little idea here. These fixtures here, uh, pardon all this insulation, but these fixtures here, as you can see, when the bulbs are removed, it's just that solid metal plate. You can attach two or three strips. You can put a pull chain here and one here, have the center strip running. Uh, for general light purposes, pull, pull the oven and have all of it running. 
and probably be about 15 watts, but it would be just as bright as you need with very little power. That way, when you're running your big battery banks and stuff, you don't pull your power down through conversion. So that's an idea. And I would recommend that you use those fixtures and recycle them.